Welcome back to the dark side. Sometimes people ask me why I'm calling this the dark side. It's not very dark. Well, it's kind of a contrast to my happy, silly Jen videos, which are most of my videos, which I consider very light. So this is the contrast. This is my serious side. It's better get in serious mood. This isn't very dark. Oh well. I'm calling it the dark side because I want to call it the dark side, so there. I noticed that Gimme a Break Man's been getting a lot of crap lately from people, you know, questioning his motives. Um, from the interactions I've had with him, the videos I've watched from him, him I don't see any reason to question his motives. Seems like a pretty great guy to me, but I figure since, you know, my channel, I try to help people too in that similar way that maybe I should do a video kind of explaining my motives. So I'm going to be completely and totally honest with you guys. Um, I am not a saint. I am not perfect by any means. Um, I have faults and selfish intentions and all of those things that go along with being a human being. So here you go. Here's me being a human being. Now the reason why I start on YouTube is because I've always wanted to be on television and in movies. Not necessarily an actress, but on television and movies since I was a little kid. Um, the Bugaboos, I'm not sure if <laughs> those of you that are a little younger probably have no clue what I'm talking about, but if you're around, you know, late 20s, early 30s, you might know who the Bugaboos are. Um, they were like my best friends when I was really young. I used to ride my big wheel with them. And I used to really want to be on their show. I wanted to be on Sesame Street too, but that never really worked out. So that's how long I've wanted to do that. When I was a kid, my parents weren't really home from like eight years old on up because they both worked. So they weren't really home during the day. So the television and movies were kind of my thing. That's what I did. I wasn't into going outside. I was kind of an indoor girl. <laughs> Big shocker on that one, huh? Um, but yeah, so I always really loved disappearing in the world of television and movies and stories. Uh, 28, I found YouTube and I found Happy Slip and I was like, wow, I could totally do this. This is something that I could do and I could not have to audition and do my own little show of whatever I wanted to do. And that was my original motivation for joining YouTube, was to create my own television show, which is what I'd always wanted to do since I was a kid. So I was on YouTube for a little while and discovered the community aspect of it, really enjoyed that part of it. Um, I also noticed that, you know, I was working really hard on these videos and not a lot of people were seeing the videos. I was like, well, it's got to be because I don't have a lot of subscribers. I had maybe 150, 50 to 100 subscribers and I really wanted to get more attention from my videos because I really felt like they they should be seen. I wanted people to watch them. Not only did I want the 50 or 100 people that might be watching them to watch them, but I wanted everybody to see, you know, my channel. And I think that's where the subscriber obsession comes from on YouTube is, you know, you create something and you really want people to see it. And you figure if you've got a bunch of subscribers, then you've got people watching what you're doing and that is success. So I also noticed, I went searching around and I found some other people, um, Hughes News, Katie Blog, uh, Nugla, those were people I was really watching back then that didn't have a lot of subscribers that I felt like deserved subscribers and that's when Nonstars was born. Um, I figured that between their subscriber bases and my subscriber bases we could all get them all together and we could all kind of discover each other. Um, so, in a way, it was a way for me to get more subscribers. I'm going to admit that. Um, but don't take that out of context. I really just wanted to get some unity together between people who didn't have a lot of subscribers to try to help each other to get other people to watch the videos we've been working so hard on. 
at the end of non-stars when season one wrapped I had six, about 600 subscribers I made my 600 subscriber shout out video and then I um, got that channel um, when you people sign up on the sign up page I got that sign up feature and bang I have a thousand new subscribers out of nowhere um, most of which probably have never watched my videos um, but you know there they are a thousand new subscribers um, and now I'm not an on star anymore I guess in a way I'm that middle ground strange land where you're not unknown but you're not known you're just kind of floating around in weird land and those of you that are in the you know 1,000 to 3,000 land you know what I'm talking about <laughs> But yeah, and, and one person I think commented something about, you know, that she's only doing non-stars to get more subscribers, and that's not true. Um, I continued with non-stars even after I had more subscribers because I felt like there was still a lot of people out there that deserved to have more attention than they had. So that's why I continued it. Now I felt like with now that I had more people watching my channel, even though those thousand or so don't really count, um, you know, maybe those people would now watch these people and get them more views. So, I mean, am I doing this completely and totally unselfishly? No, I'm not. Um, I do hope to get a couple, a few subscribers out of this, and I have. Um, but my main motivation for doing non-stars is to spread the word about people that I enjoy. And that's what it comes down to. Hopefully that kind of helps you guys to understand a little bit better about why I do what I do. And I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. And, you know, I see people on here that say, you know, their channel's gone downhill and it's because they are trying to appease their subscriber base. Well, I'm not going to do that. I'm always going to make the videos, at least I hope, I'll always make the videos that I want to make. Um, and if you guys don't like them, feel free not to watch. And that's okay. Um, my Hate our comments are starting to go up a little bit, but that's okay. Um, if you choose to not watch my videos, then don't. You know, if you want to watch my videos, great. You know, that's awesome. It's great. I'm glad that that I can make some people smile, and that's that's really what it's all about. You guys have a great night, and mad love as always. And I will see you guys soon. Mwah. Bye guys.